I recently tried to get rid of my glasses, folks. I uh, went to go get LASIK surgery, but I didn't even make it past the consultation. Did not make it past the consultation. We go in, the nurse goes, okay, before we have you guys go back and see the doctor, we want you to watch the video. I'm like, okay, that's cool. This woman pulls out a VHS tape. <laughs> And she goes, before we get started, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, right here, I have a question. Does that come on DVD at all, ma'am? Because if that's the type of technology you have in the back, I don't want the surgery. <laughs> I don't want to go back there and it's a dude with a Nintendo dunk hunt gun <laughs> and a magnifying glass telling me to sit still. <laughs> The best comedy of the week. You want comedians wearing glasses? We've got four comedians wearing glasses. You want sketches? We got your sketches. You want vines? We got your vines. You want a TV host? We've got Steve Hofstetter. Welcome to Laughs. From Detroit, Michigan, one of our fan favorites, it's Josh Adams. Halloween is an extremely racist holiday, white people. And the reason I say that is because there's no good characters for the black kids to be. My daughter, her favorite movie is The Little Mermaid. So obviously she wanted to be Ariel for Halloween. Now, it's hard for me to explain to a three-year-old little girl, ain't no such thing as black mermaids. <laughs> you can go to school and work hard and be the president of the United States if you wanted to, but you can't never be no mermaid. She not gonna understand that to be a mermaid, you gotta swim. In the swim, you get your hair wet. And the first rule of being a black woman is... <laughs> that you never get your hair wet. It's a serious thing, man. I've seen a black woman leaving a hair salon. It was raining outside. She said, I guess I'm spending the night then because I'm not going out there. <laughs> So I let my daughter be the Little Mermaid anyway, because that's my baby, she can be whatever she want to be. So I went out and bought her outfit. She had the little red wig on, little secret finny gown thing on. She was the Little Mermaid. We walking around trick-or-treating, people start talking her stuff that she didn't even try to be, stuff that she wasn't even portraying. They walking up like, oh, you let your daughter be Nicki Minaj? That is so cute. I love her music. This is Ariel, I was angry. <laughs> My nephew with me. This was his first time trick or treat. He was Woody from Toy Story. He had his little cowboy hat on, cowboy boots, had his badge on. He was Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> Till we got to this one house. We knock on the door, trick or treat. She come out, this white lady come out, see my nephew. She light up. Oh my God, this is so adorable. Honey, get the candy, get the camera, and take a picture right now with me and Django. <laughs> Young as hell with Taylor Tomlinson. During the day, I'm a receptionist at a waxing salon. Uh, yep, that's, that's its own punchline. Thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> waxing, for any guys in here who don't know what that is, waxing is when women heat up liquid wax to boiling temperatures, pour it on their most sensitive regions, and then rip out their body hair along with tiny pieces of their soul. <laughs> Nice. I don't get it. I think it's a satanic practice, personally. Uh, I grow my armpit hair out till I can braid it. Then I chop it off, donate it to Locks of Love. I'm a good person. <laughs> I keep a little downstairs, just so everyone knows. This is a legal operation, OK? Just a little soul patch, like a, hey, I voted sticker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Girls I work with are not like that. They wax everything. They're just these beautiful, hairless mole rats walking around. <laughs> defying nature. They're always cold. I'm like, I wonder why, you silky broad. One of you. It rains, they get real slippery. You have to put down mats for them. I saw two of them hug last week. It just sounded like two balloons rubbing up against each other. <laughs> Disgusting. Have you seen two hairy people hug? The noise that makes, just a soft <laughs> That's beautiful. That's like wind going through trees at midnight. That's gorgeous. In your 30s, you're not old, you're not young. You're just in your 30s, right? Even at 29, people still have hope. <laughs> Never talk to them. How old are you? I'm 29, and I can do it. Like, oh my god. <laughs> 31, I can't even tell anybody under 25 how old I am. They don't hear it, right? They hear the first part, they zone out. <laughs> I'm 30. 
Why is this old guy talking to us? It's past seven. He should be in bed. He should be in bed. 31, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to eat better, right? That's, that's the, it's easy to be healthy in L.A. because they don't feed us, right? Everything's organic and farm fresh, and this has a good energy to it. It's good for your aura. I hate it. I hate it. I tried to get a blueberry muffin. That's all. Just a blueberry muffin. That's all I want, all right? They're like, this muffin was made organically, okay? It was made with grass and hope and prayers for the future. I'm like, what? You put sugar on on it, you put it in the oven, then you put it in my mouth. Do you understand me? Do you want some chicken? Would you like some? Just chicken was raised on a farm and we listened to its feelings. We didn't separate it from his family. I don't care about that dead chicken's karma, okay? Do you want some hummus? Would you like some hummus? <laughs> that stuff that tastes like grade school glue? No, I'm gonna pass on that. Any of that? No, thank you. Somebody going into a fast food bathroom with a bag of food and coming out empty handed with wet hair is the worst thing I've ever seen. I was in Walmart the other day. I saw a kid there, probably two years old. His head was shaved to a mohawk. He was only wearing a diaper, and he was also strapped into one of those monkey backpack leash harness things. Yeah, and he was just sprinting down aisles with the leash on the floor, just dragging behind him. And my friend goes, we should find his mom. I was like, mom, really? I'm pretty sure he was born here. <laughs> and he just raised himself eating off shelves. <laughs> like, I saw him juke and dodge some lady's shopping cart. He's clearly adapted to the surroundings. <laughs> he was climbing on shelves. I think you should probably get down from there, Mowgli. <laughs> it's dangerous. I was more worried he'd reach the top, just start banging his chest, and other children would emerge from the clearance bins. <laughs> We found a guy at work, they're like, sir, there's just this kid running around your store, and he goes, oh, yeah, that's our manager. <laughs> yeah, he's got the most teeth. It's time for the Vine of the Week. This Vine is just like a tax refund. One second it's here, six seconds later, it's gone. If you're beautiful on the inside, you're beautiful. But others may still find you physically unattractive. My girlfriend just stopped taking her birth control. Yeah. She thinks that since she stopped taking her birth control, it's caused her to gain weight. I think it's all the cake I've been hiding her pill in. She loves dessert. I don't want to be a dad, man. I don't want to be a dad. I want to be a stepdad. That's what I really want to be. I want to be... That's where it's at, right? Kid turns out okay. You're like, yeah, I helped raise him. If he's a complete moron, you're like, oh, don't look at me. He's not my kid. <laughs> Talk to his dad already. I don't have anything. You can't have kids when you don't have anything. I have two things. I have credit card debt and my friend's Netflix password. Those are the two things that I have. And it's not even his, it's like his cousins or whatever. I'm pretty sure there's only 10 Netflix logins out there that we're using. And if you have your own, you're in the Illuminati. That's what that means. You guys, the IRS Facebook page still has 10 times more likes than our page. They audit you, we post funny jokes. Like us at facebook.com slash TV show right now. And while you're at it, unlike them. I saw a guy, yeah, I'll call him my hero. He was pumping gas while smoking a cigarette, yeah. That's not even the meat of it. This maniac takes the cigarette, boom, flicks it at the pump when he's done, boom! That's a man right there. That guy doesn't give a about life in a half mile radius around him. He doesn't care about anybody. This guy just goes home and juggles his infants. There's nothing else on TV right now. Trust us, don't change the channel. It's laughs. For your viewing pleasure, welcome back to laughs. And now, Mad as Hell with Tom Simmons. Saw a story where a gunman was holding two children hostage in their own house for three days. Right, and the police went in and shot the guy, so everything worked out good in the end. Yeah, the weird thing about the story to me personally was the mother of the children, also one of the hostages, but the gunman let her go on the first day, and she left. 
I know. What kind of mother leaves her kids with a gunman? She's like, I can go? All right, screw it. I'm out of here. Yeah. She's on her phone. Hey, Betty, I got a sitter after all. I can go out. Yeah. It's crazy. He just came in, said, you can go. Hey, she wants to know if she can drop her kid by. Yeah. All right, y'all be good. The guy with the gun's in charge, OK? I'll, I'll see you later or not. Isn't that crazy? Then they shot the guy. They just gave her back her kids. No child services, no nothing, right? Which is fine, but how do you live that down as a parent? If I'm a, I have a kid, I could never discipline my son again after that. Like, son, clean your room or else. Or else what, Daddy? What, are you going to leave me with a crazed gunman again? What do you mean I can't watch The Simpsons? The hostage guy let me watch The Simpsons. I like him better than you. He almost got me on a helicopter ride. Do you have your W-2 and your 1099? How about that 140? Like us on Twitter at Laughs TV Show, and we'll give you funny tweets in 140 characters or less. My parents were almost 50 years old whenever I was born. Now I'm gonna repeat that, cause it's gross. <laughs> 50, that's way too old to be having a kid, okay? My mother should have been going through menopause, but they managed to both find an ovum nobody knew was there, okay? It was exactly like finding an Easter egg in July, just disgusting. And now I'm the runt of the family. I don't feel like I had to tell any of you that. You can see that uh, I very much didn't get the nutrients that it takes to make a normal human being. So my parents just got a smart ass hobbit. Boom. I think people would take uh, contraceptives a lot more seriously if instead of it taking nine months for a woman to produce a child, it only took nine minutes. Because the woman would be like, oh my gosh, I've got this baby, and I'm still drunk. <laughs> and, and then, of course, the guy would be thrown up in the toilet from what he just saw. <laughs> and then the bouncer would be like, all right, you three are out of here. So I'm pretty sure that baby isn't 21. I am a ginger female, that is right. Uh, the problem is, is that I don't get any of the benefits of being a ginger female because I don't exactly have that fiery red hair to go with my ginger skin. So no guy ever looks at me, he's like, oh, check out that ginger girl. I bet she's wild in bed. They just look at me and they're like, oh, check out that girl. She shouldn't be outside. <laughs> get her back indoors, yeah. I go to apply sunscreen all the time. That's not fun for me at all. Because I don't know if you guys elect somebody or what happens here, but whenever I'm applying sunscreen, somebody will always come up to me and they'll always give me this line. They'll say, oh me? I don't need sunscreen. I just tan, I tan. <laughs> oh, that's great for you. I guess that means I could just start walking up to people in wheelchairs and being like, hey, look how well my legs work. It's amazing. Don't do that, it's very rude. Yeah. I think my least favorite thing about sunscreen is that even though you're applying lotion all over your body, it is never considered hot or sexy because safety has never been attractive, right? I've never seen a guy on a skateboard and been like, my word, is he wearing knee pads? Well, roll over here, Hot Wheels. Mm, mm, mm. You're giving me a weddy. that is fantastic, that's good. Weddy, that's a female boner team. You guys can take that home, use it, let it out, play with it. Ladies, stop sending your selfies to Steve. He's married. Send them to me. It's laughs. Welcome back to laughs. We found him. Here's your host, Edward Snowden. From Denver, it's Matt Baca. My friend's like, mm, I just tried a beat slider. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. That's like Kale McNuggets. Uh, that's not. <laughs> so my friend said, hey, listen, you gotta get in shape, take some yoga. You think yoga's gonna be laid back because you walk in and Yanni is playing live on the pan flute, like doodle, 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 yeah, this is gonna be good. And then the teacher plays a mixtape of new age music, like Enya, you guys know Enya? That's fun, yeah, yeah. That's a great soundtrack to the sound of my ligament snapping, which is awesome. <laughs> 
teacher says this. She says, we're going to do some deep stretches, and you are going to feel your groin yawn. <laughs> I did that stretch. I got up. I said, miss, my crotch just yodeled. Uh, <laughs> Consider it like a tax shelter. We post funny stand-up clips and full episodes of laughs at youtube.com slash laughs TV show so you can access it when you have a laugh emergency. Well, my wife, man, she's good. She wants to keep things romantic. She said, hey, baby, the next time we have sex, why don't we role play during sex? And I was like, ah, oh, that's not really my thing. She said, no, it'll be fun. You can make pretend to be whatever you want. You can make pretend to be a cop or a fireman. And I was like, really? You want me to make pretend to be the two things I took the state exam for and failed? <laughs> also, during sex, you want to role play my broken dreams. That was what I role play. <laughs> but she was like, no way, baby. Wouldn't you want an auxiliary cop? If you guys want an auxiliary cop, it's in New York City, an auxiliary cop is a guy who dressed like a cop. I work for the NYPD, but the only thing they gave me was a walkie talkie. <laughs> they expected me to defend the ghetto with a walkie talkie. I just ran away a lot. <laughs> But she's like, no, come on, put it on the old uniform and do what he would do in an emergency. And she got all into it too. She's like, I've been a bad girl, a really naughty girl. Are you gonna arrest me? And I'm standing going, as an auxiliary cop, I do not have the authority to arrest you. <laughs> so I have to walkie talkie for backup. <laughs> if you can stay horny for two to three minutes, I'll call someone to take care of you. Have a good night, ma'am. I just left it with you guys. You can be at home watching anything. You can be watching, uh... One of the shows about people being addicted to weird stuff. Those are fun. Have you seen them? If you haven't, let me tell you about it. It's uh, mostly white people <laughs> addicted to really weird stuff like eating fingernail clippings and drinking motor oil. I don't know. It's, but it's a great thing because you really you get to see people ask questions that you never hear in normal everyday life. Like, so, Barbara, how long have you been eating the kitty cat treats? Well, I've been eating them kitty cat treats for about 11 years. I reckon I eat about eight bags of them a day, and I didn't really know they was bad for me. And then they brought me in there, he sent me in there to talk to that doctor. He told me I could have gotten sick from eating them kitty cat treats, so I reckon I'm gonna stop. <laughs> what? Where do they find these people? Nobody loves you. You know, I mean, I know it sounds mean, but it's like you've been eating kitty cat treats every day for 11 years and nobody stepped in. <laughs> Except to put you on a show. We discourage against suicide too much in this country. Now, I know that sounds mean too, but hold on a minute. Think about it. There's all these great musicians and actors and writers, all these famous peoples with IQs that are through the roofs and they got so much to give to the world and they're killing themselves, but not the kitty cat treat addict. <laughs> She's like, uh -uh, not me, I'm gonna ride this thing out and see where it takes me. After the break, a sketch by one of our favorites, The Kids Table. Hey everyone, it's Alexis. And I'm Cody. Whoa, what's going on with your hair? What? It's a new uh, style I'm trying. Interesting. It's kind of like the man bun. It's nothing like the man bun. Hmm? A man bun is when a guy has longer hair and does a legitimate bun in the back or in the front. Well, that's because I'm trying to start this new trend. And you know what I'm calling it? The frontal bun. Oh my gosh. Well, good luck with that. Here's the sketch of the week. It's kinda cute though. She's so beautiful. I can't believe how lucky I am. This is exactly where I dreamed I'd always be. But I still want to f other girls. I've never felt so comfortable with anyone. It's like I'm finally able to be myself. But she doesn't think the onion is funny. She makes me laugh every day. But she doesn't flush after she pees, yuck. I don't know what I would do if she ever got hurt. But her laugh is so loud. She challenges me to think beyond myself. Oh, but my ex gave better She would make an amazing mother to my children. Oh, but she's a mouth breather. I have more fun with her than I do with my best friends. But there's never any parking at her place. She's strong and independent, and I love that. Oh, but she uses my profile on Hulu, and that totally 
f***ed up my recommendations. Like, I'd never watch Nashville. What the f***? I think we should break up. Wait. Am I an Yay! That's been our show. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Have a good night.